It's kind of a fact that people like crunchy foods, whether it's uh, delicious Doritos, as it was recently in the news for uh, the CEO of PepsiCo saying, oh, women don't want to crunch and munch on, on Doritos because it's too loud and it's rude. But the fact is people like this kind of thing, be it Doritos or uh, cookies or Magnum ice cream bars or what have you. Frito-Lay has actually invested a lot of money into determining the decibels a chip can make when it's crunched. Though in their simulation, it's not a human head. It's a kind of a weird robot clampy thing. But scientists have done a little bit of research as to why, why we like crunchy foods. And there's some biological evolutionary evidence, but there's also a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of research in this field. I mean, the crunchiness of chips is not often studied, but when it is, it's great. So, Dr. Charles Spence, PhD, a gastrophysicist and professor of experimental psychology and head of the Cross Modal Research Laboratory at the University of Oxford, has looked into this. And what he did for a study was to decide to give people different chips or different chips of the same kind of chip, Pringles and have a headset on each person to that would loop back the sound of the chip crunching. And what they did, what he did was have people judge how good the chip was based on after eating them and listening to the feedback. But what he didn't tell them was that he turned up the volume for some of them. And for the ones that he turned up the volume, the people judged them as being fresher, more delicious, great tasting. And for the normal sounding ones, people thought it was left out for longer, not very good. Perhaps a little moist, and I'm sorry if you hate that word, but that, that was the rationale there. And he sought to figure out why the crispness was related to being better. And there are a few reasons why from biological evolutionary method. Um, some have posited that it's because on one part of the brain, we consider things to be, that are crisp, crunchy, therefore loud, registering many decibels to be fresh, like apples, celery, other vegetables. Um, but on the other hand, things that are crunchy tend to be fatty. And our brains don't understand what we want sometimes and always want us to favor the fatty foods. So there's two reasons behind that. Uh, according to Connecticut audiologist Nathan Bauman, MD, the average n noise people make when they're eating chips is between 25 to 35 decibels. So uh, when we're talking, that's about 60 decibels. When we're thinking about ambient noise in the street, let's say not a busy street, just one with trees, maybe about 20 decibels. So there's a level that people want when they hear their chips and it needs to be at a certain rate. Some sources say lips closed, closer to 63 when you're chewing on a chip with your mouth open. And you need to consider this because the way that we perceive sound of what we're eating or what we're speaking is conducted through the bones in our head on top of the cochlear parts of our ears. and. This goes back to not really some people not really understanding the way they sound or being horrified when they listen to recordings of themselves. It's because we perceive it differently because of those bones that we're listening through. So they estimate that the decibels need to be around that rate for people to enjoy the chip. And Frito Lay, like I said, has put in a lot of work into making the right sound, which would indicate the right levels of freshness, the right levels of oil, the right levels of fried for us to overall perceive this as a good snack that we want to keep spending our money on. And this goes also back to Dr. Spence's work to even the chips rustling in the bag or dropping the chips from the shelf into your shopping cart. It's all a Pavlov's dream of us um, anticipating what it will taste like and our brains understanding what that will mean to us on a different level. So that's why you love chips, everyone. Do you prefer crunchy or soft foods? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.